They are a happy couple with the happy news. They always want the best for their child and already love him unconditionally. They hope their child will grow healthy. After second trimester checkup, doctor tell them that your child are having spina bifida. Spina bifida is a condition that affects the spine and is usually apparent at birth. It is a type of neural tube defect. Spina bifida can happen anywhere along the spine if the neural tube does not close all the way. When the neural tube doesn't close all the way, the backbone that protects the spinal cord doesn't form and close as it should. This often results in damage to the spinal cord and nerve. The highest number of diagnoses reported was myelomeningocele type spina bifida. The most common site of the spina bifida lesion was located at the lumbar region irrespective of aperta or occulta type. Data associate phenotypes of spina bifida such as hydrocephalus and encephalocele was also captured. In terms of mobility, 32.84% patients from age 4 to 16 years old were found to be mobile. And 36.07% of patients ranging from 5 to 16 years old received formal education ranging from preschool to secondary school. A total of 86 patients recorded with spina bifida in 2003 until 2016 were analyzed. Spina bifida prevalence rate in this study ranged from 1.87 to 8.9 per thousand live birth depending on weight stage. We note that ethnicity was a factor whereby the highest number of spina bifida were from Malays, followed by equal number of Chinese and Indian. The highest number of diagnoses reported was melomeningocele type of spina bifida. Pathology of spina bifida First, lack of folic acid Second, family history Third, taking certain medicines such as valproic acid during pregnancy Fourth, obesity And lastly is diabetes Spina bifida can occur in three types which is spina bifida occulta Spina bifida myelomeningocele or the very rare type is meningocele. Spina bifida occulta is the mildest and most common type. Occulta means hiding. Spina bifida occulta results in a small separation or gap in one or more of the bone of the spine, which spinal cord and tissue are don't protrude. Many people who have spina bifida occulta don't even know it unless the condition is discovered during an imaging test done for unrelated reason. Spina bifida myelomeningocele, also known as open spina bifida. Myelomeningocele is the most severe type. The spinal canal is open along several vertebrae in the lower or middle back. The membrane and spinal nerve push through this opening at birth, forming a sac on the baby back. Typically, exposing tissue and nerve makes the baby prone to life-threatening infection and may also cause paralysis and bladder and bowel dysfunction. Spina bifida meningocele is a serious type of spina bifida where the protective membranes around the spinal cord push out through the spine. The spinal cord usually develop normally, so surgery can often be used to remove the membrane without damaging the nerve. Clinical feature of spina bifida Spina bifida occulta It has an area of extra fat on the back, Small group or cluster of hair on the back, has small birthmark or dimple on the back, and there is a gap in between vertebrae. It has no visible opening outside and no fluid field sac outside the body. 
Spina bifida meningosil. It has small opening in the back, sac that is visible at birth, which is the membranes pushing out through the opening in the vertebrae into sac. And it also have normal development of spinal cord. Spina bifida meningosil. It has meninges and spinal cord protrude onto skin of back, weak or paralyzed leg muscle, scoliosis, hydrocephalus often companies, and leak of cerebrospinal fluid. Spina bifida occurs when local region of neural tube fail to fuse. Neural arc formation occurs in the first month of embryonic development. Defect occur between the 17 to 30 day of gestation where the fetus is about the size of a grain of rice. There are two types of management, conservative and surgery. For the surgery, Prenatal surgery for spina bifida take place before the 26th week of pregnancy, where surgeons expose the pregnant mother's uterus surgically, open the uterus and repair the baby's spinal cord. Research suggests that children with spina bifida who had fetal surgery may have reduced disability and be less likely to need crutches or other walking devices. Closure of the myeloma meningocil is performed immediately after birth if external cerebrospinal fluid leakage is present. In the absence of cerebrospinal fluid leakage, closure typically occurs within the first 24 to 48 hours. Many babies born with spina bifida get hydrocephalus. Surgery for hydrocephalus required a small hollow tube that will help drain the fluid from the baby's brain and protect it from too much pressure. For the conservative method, which is treatment for complication, the first one is walking and mobility aids. Especially for those who have difficulties to walk and trouble with their mobility. Bracing and orthotics to allow them to function at maximum level. Occupational therapy, correct seating and positioning support, Advice on house adaptation, development on hand-eye coordination, and self-care skill training. Prognosis Children with spina bifida can lead an active life. However, prognosis is poorest for those with complete paralysis, hydrocephalus, and other congenital defects. Impairment and limitation Number 1. Any damage to the nerves can cause problem controlling the muscles. Most children with spina bifida have some degree of weakness or paralysis in their lower limbs. People with spina bifida can develop allergy to latex with mild to severe allergy.